It's the number two most popular minimally invasive cosmetic procedure in the U.S. Getting filler injections to plump up facial lines, wrinkles and lips. And if you are one of the nearly three million people who get filler, there's some new information regarding how you could possibly react to the COVID vaccine. Meg Ferris has that story. Lauren Lovelace never liked the dark sunken circles under her eyes. It was just something I was always self-conscious about, so um, one of my friends had done it and suggested it to me. That suggestion, get dermal filler under the eyes, as millions do in areas of the face and lips, like the smile lines. She got the filler Restylane back in June. Did people stop saying, you look tired, or did they say, now you look more rested? Yeah, people would be like, wow, you look like you're glowing. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Lauren's in physical therapy school at LSU Health. Soon she'll be working with patients. So Monday it was her turn to get the first dose of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. Two days later, something was wrong. I felt like I got punched in the face. Like It's kind of what woke me up. I turned my head and it was painful under my eyes. And so I was like freaking out. Her dermatologist, LSU Health's Dr. Elizabeth Greasehaber, says in Moderna vaccine studies, this happened to three out of 15,000 participants with filler. And it's even been seen after a flu vaccine. The vaccine is made to induce inflammation and induce an inflammatory response so that you can develop antibodies. So something foreign in the body can be the site of inflammation. This is rare and treatable. Rare and treatable. Steroids and antihistamines would have been used. Was Lauren one of the rare cases because she also had the coronavirus recently? And so I'm wondering if she had those antibodies and then got that brisk immune reaction when she got her vaccine on Monday. Lauren's swelling near her eyes went down within a day. Dr. Greasehaber highly recommends she get her second vaccine dose. Because if she has swelling of this again, it's not going to be disfiguring. It's not going to scar her. We can mitigate it with some things we can do. Lauren's not concerned about the inflammation in her face or even her hip joints after the vaccine. It's basically your immune system mounting a defense. Right. I knew that it would happen and it was a possibility. It was worth it to me to get the vaccine. To protect her and future patients. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Says it's important to note that the reaction is to fillers and not to Botox or products like that.